is a women's dorm. Once again, filthy, dirty, needs paint, uh, sprucing up. And uh, big shower, I mean, big bathroom areas. Uh, very, very adequate, very nice. Tile floors. And in the future, we'd like to put uh, some air conditioning in these dorms, but uh, right now that's probably something we're not going to do here on these dorms. Okay, Teresa, I think we can show Where our camp director stayed, and it, it needs a lot of work, uh, and uh, Much of the tile has come up. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the people put the tile down. I don't know which was us. And we are looking also uh, in way of the cross ministry for more full time staff. We we uh, we love the Lord with all of our heart, but we work on a very limited budget. All of our people are here by faith. We try to give them a place to stay and help them with food on the table, but they're kind of responsible for their own support. So uh, we're looking for full-time staff for this facility and other facilities that we have in other countries. So think about it. If God is calling you, uh, please talk to us. There's just lots of places for you to just get off and be alone and uh, with the Lord and pray. When I pray, I'm, I'm a walker and a talker, so I, I believe that other people do that, and they need to have a place where they can walk and talk to the Lord. And before we even bought this camp many, many years ago, they call it El Tran Tranquilo, which is a tranquil camp. And when you come on this, this camp, you can feel the presence of the Lord in such a powerful way. For you that might be in leadership, if you look up high, you can see our old poles, and, but the camp has good lighting, even at night. So if your you're young people, if your team's out and about in the evening, uh, you can kind of look around pretty quick and find them because it's pretty well lit up. We're going over, right now, we're going over near our, the cemetery on the camp. And the cemetery is a little bit different type of cemetery. Uh, than you might think. It's not some place where we buried bodies of missionaries. It's it's uh, it's a place where normally we have benches and things. You may have some things that you might need to bury in your life. There's a lot of lot of markers here. Fear, addiction, lust, alcohol, anger, and there's a few more graves over there where all those trees are. They're a more of a personal nature. We bring chairs out here pretty often, and you can kind of stand up there next to the crosses. It's kind of like a stage, and preach to the teams or preach to the group that's down here. A lot of our, our pastors, youth pastors that are brought in their churches, they'll come out here at night and there's a light that kind of lights it up a little bit and they'll have devotions and debriefing with their team at the end of the day and it's it's just a wonderful place. Uh, another thing, some of you say, well, Brother Ben, what about bugs? There's very few bugs on this camp. I have been working in this area for many, many years. It's seldom you even get bit by mosquitoes. So. Uh, it's, it's just a good place to be, even in the evening. I want to introduce you to Pastor John Hayes and his wife, Kella, and their children. And uh, John is the director of this camp. Uh, he's been taking care of it for many years, even when it's not been active. Uh, but if you'll come and help us to, to uh, rebuild this camp, uh, you'll, be, you'll be spending time with both John and his wife. 
this is holy ground here.